Pisces, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. And this is your general tarot reading. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love for July, right? It's July. Hope you all had a happy July 4th holiday. Time off. I sure did. Um, Pisces, let's take a look. This is regarding love, romance, and partnerships. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. Do not force it to fit. And again, this is Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, okay? All right, so what messages do we have for Pisces out there? What do they need to know pertaining to love, romance, partnership, any connection that they're in, any significant connection, guidance, wisdom, advice? <laughs> All right, Pisces, if you want a personal love tower reading, don't hesitate to reach out. You can go to my website or Etsy and book a reading with me. Pisces, the challenge for you guys is the eight of cups, snip, snip, okay? We have a picture of someone cutting their hair. Um, there could be some kind of situation you're having to walk away from, literally cut out of your life. Maybe there's a person, a thing, a situation that is no longer serving your highest and greatest good. And if you walk away from it, you can find that ten of cups. So I'm getting the energy of releasing something, something that brought forth a lot of emotions, highs and lows, because I'm seeing all these cups. Um, the Ten of Cups is definitely telling me that, yeah, this is you transitioning, moving from one thing to another to get that happiness, that that prosperity. Again, it could come with some kind of emotional loss, having to cut ties, sever. But you're going toward the Ten of Cups, and that's the challenge for you to recognize that there is an opportunity to be happy or experience is happiness and joy. In the recent past, we have the hangman, that's you Pisces, four cups and the five of swords. In the past, there was definitely something that you were thinking long and hard about Pisces and it's regarding a loss. Uh, I'm seeing the four cups as being some kind of loss, disappointment, sorrow, grief. And it feels like there was just a lot of fighting, maybe bickering. Five of Swords could be lies. Was someone not being very honest with you? Were they being very argumentative, right? And there could be something here that had to be resolved. And it felt like the hangman was the only way to do it. So maybe you put this connection on pause. Maybe there's someone in your life that you couldn't resolve this issue with. And so you had to just kind of let something temporarily just be put to the side. That's what it feels like. The hangman could be like the energy of just not taking action on a matter, um, not being as responsive, but you know, you're in hangman. So you're really thinking, you're pondering, you're wondering what's the best way to go about a situation and trying to get additional insight. Four cups could definitely feel like, you know, you or this person could have felt rejected. Someone felt rejected by the other person. Okay, with that hangman. Now, the current energy is the Ace of Wands. There could be a new beginning on the horizon, new opportunity coming in to Wands and the Ten of Wands in reverse. So there's something that you're leaving behind, something that could feel very burdensome. Ten of Wands is heavy, burdens of the past. It could feel like just baggage. But you're releasing and you're letting go of something. Ten of Wands, Tens are endings, Aces are new beginnings. So... Um, the sooner you remove yourself from a situation, as an ending as an ending, you can move forward with that Ace of Wands. Uh, there's a lot of, there's an energy of being inspired, dedicated, motivated, energetic, okay, energized about a situation coming in or moving forward, a new beginning. But there is a decision and it feels like there is some kind of diversion. Maybe there is two things you're having to choose between, two options, two people, two paths. Two Wands could be like two things, Right. So maybe you're having to decide how you want to move forward. Let's take a look. Your person's energy is the Six of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups in reverse, and how they see moving forward is the Nine of Wands. Someone definitely may at times take the easy way out by just giving up on something and not trying, okay? You, you're dealing with someone that may feel, oh, it's easy to kind of give up than actually push for something at times. Um, because that Nine of Wands in a verse tells me they've given up on you in the past or they have a tendency to give up on things that are difficult or tough. Um, there is some kind of rebalance or adjustments that are being made with the Six of Pentacles. So this could be a person having to like do more, show up, right? Give something in a more balanced manner. 
because this is someone that definitely is working and operating on their own right now nine of pentacles they could be doing a lot of work on themselves very independent solo energy and it does feel like they're getting clarity seeking clarity with regard to how they feel and just getting clarity in general regarding your options on love okay so there's definitely some like um new information that could be coming in with the hangman right the hangman could be giving someone an opportunity to look at a situation differently that could be bringing forth this clarity and a new beginning so i like it let's see what the outcome is i definitely also feel like the six of pentacles is a really good energy which tells me if someone wasn't invested in the past, you may have felt like you were giving much more. Then now there's an opportunity for your person to give in a more fair, balanced manner, right? The judgment, big decision coming in. We have the moon in reverse and the six of wands. So I like it. The judgment is definitely some kind of final decision. And with the moon in reverse, something could be coming out, being revealed. There could be new insight. There could be the energy of letting go of fears, insecurities, and finally revealing the truth. The truth about something that has been hidden, you know, the moon, is, again, is something that is not has not been shared or been out in the open. It could be now coming to light and it's bringing forth a victory. So it feels like Whatever you're going to be finding out, you're going to be making a decision, Pisces. And maybe you're in this two wands right now, but you're definitely going to be making some kind of firm, solid decision moving forward. And that decision is going to bring a victory. Okay, it's going to bring some kind of success back to the connection. This could be you being seen by your person, you being heard, you feeling as if you're, you're respected. There, there's a lot of good energy with the Six of Wands and achieving something you've been wanting, okay? It's an accomplishment. So let's jump right in. Let's get some more insight. Three shuffles for Pisces. All right, ten of cups, and we have that eight of cups. So walking away to find that happiness, right? And we have three of wands in reverse. So something is not coming in. It may feel like something, it just is not coming in quick enough or fast enough, or just not at all. And so it makes me feel like Pisces, are you kind of at a crossroads where you're trying to like it's like you want to wait for someone, but you realize that it's no use waiting for them anymore. And then you may be Eight of Cups emotionally disconnecting and walking away in order to find your Ten of Cups. That could be the biggest challenge you guys are dealing with. Emotional loss or having to walk away from someone that you really care about. In the past, give me that Hangman for Cups. Temperance in reverse, the Ace of Cups and a Death. So I do feel like there's a pause with regard to a new a new love relationship or an opportunity. Someone kind of put something to an end or something had to change, right? The death is indicating of change, transformation that had to happen, whether someone wanted this or not. I also feel like this change is led by the hangman. Someone now seeing a bigger picture or seeing things from a different perspective. And a temperance could be like it took forever, but now is the time. Right now is the time. Finally, someone sees this differently. And maybe this is someone, again, who was difficult, just brought a lot of drama and complication to the connection with the Five of Swords. Yeah, and there's just a lot of hurt. So was someone acting up in the past because they were hurt, because they were dealing with some kind of heartbreak or loss? I also feel like this is the hurt that you could have been feeling, Pisces. Someone here may have ended this connection just as just as quick as it started with the Ace of Cups to the death. And so you may have been heartbroken, Three of Swords. You never saw this coming or someone doing you the way they did. So the Heyman is definitely like you on pause. There's some kind of break here. But after a break, there is a new beginning. This could be a Scorpio, a Sagittarius with the two of wands, right? Four of wands, four of swords, and the seven of wands in a verse. It comes down to what you really want and what you're willing to fight for, Pisces, because we have the seven of wands and the ace of wands. If you want it, go for it. If you want it, go get it, right? And the Four of Swords could indicate that this is a period of maybe some time, again, downtime, rest, where there is some anxiety and conflict someone has regarding a situation. Because I think ultimately someone does have desire to have that Four of Wands, right? Coming together, unity, harmony, that new beginning. So that could be that Ace of Wands, right? Someone wanting to have a new another chance at love at coming together under the same roof as a family home unity right um but i definitely feel like there's something they're having to speak up about and the four of swords could be like again has some kind of hesitancy because they're in their head overthinking a matter regarding you give me the uh, six of pentacles 
magician of herbs, something here will not manifest um, until there is some kind of reciprocity, equality, balance being restored into this connection. You could be dealing with a Gemini. We also have Leo Sag Aries with the Queen of Wands. So for some of you, your person wasn't giving to you because there was a Queen of Wands in the picture. There could have been an issue of someone not focused. I'm seeing the energy of focus, not focused, or being distracted by Queen of Wands energy. So Six of Pentacles could be your person giving your time to other people, places, things, including this Queen of Wands energy. Um, Nine of Pentacles is here, though. So it's almost like they're acting... They're single right now. So Page of Cups is here. Someone here could be making an offer, coming in to apologize or ask for forgiveness because now they're single. Maybe they have released or walked away recently from a Queen of Wands energy, right? The Eight of Cups is in a challenge. Some of you are having a difficult time emotionally opening back up to this person because the Page of Cups may not feel like it's enough. It may feel like it's just not enough. Like Page of Cups could be very sweet, very um, warm very loving but you know if this is an apology someone here may not be receiving it or may not be open to receiving it and forgiving right so nine of wands in a verse and a seven of cups six of cups and the empress in a verse right this is someone that is recognizing they're getting clarity with the seven of cups in a verse of their options in love they also recognize that the queen um queen of wands and the empress are not the same they're realizing that the Empress, they should have treated better because they see this card is in a verse. So someone didn't treat their Empress the way the Empress needed to be treated. This is someone that did not love, nurture, and care for you. Maybe, you know, they desired you, but they didn't show you how much they cared. And so someone is saying that there's the energy of like, I should have worked harder because I left things off on a bad note. I should have did more with the person I love, the Six of Cups. So this is someone that is definitely reminiscing, thinking about you, past precious times, memories, experiences and they wish that they can do it over again someone knows that um an apology may not be enough but they're having to work harder right nine of wands is the energy of like i'm gonna have to work a whole lot harder to regain the trust and loyalty of that emperor so some of you guys pisces you are the empress you are the wife of the mother or you're looked at as a wife or mother there's a big decision with the judge and a six of wands and it could lead to a victory four of cups and the strength Someone here is going to reveal something, right? Because the moon in the verse is revealing of a truth, something that may have been hidden, some kind of insecurity or loss. Someone is going to reveal that they feel at this loss, right? Four of Cups, they feel there's the energy of a missed opportunity. So this could be someone who's revealing to you that they've, they've missed out on something good here. And the strength is using their courage, willpower, physical strength, mental strength to be able to say this to you. So it's not going to be easy for your person, but I do feel it's going to open up the door for judgment, for a big decision to be made that will be victorious in the end. And look, that Ten of Cups came out. That is your challenge, right, to get to that Ten of Cups. And it's funny that we got this card as the outcome. So, you know, the Six of Wands is, is associated with the Ten of Cups here, right? Because I clarified Six of Wands with the Ten of Cups. So you're going to have a victory regarding getting your happiness, right? There's a happiness that you want, you know, this is like, being with the family, being overly joyed, feeling supported. And you're going to get that. You're going to get that victory. You're going to get that opportunity to be that Ten of Cups with that person or whoever you're thinking about. But there is something here that someone is having to fight for, have courage, willpower. And it's regarding maybe like a, some kind of emotional loss or situation that resulted in an emotional loss. Big decisions being made between you and your person, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out soon. Take care.